as NASA plans future exploration missions, there's much we still have to learn, and the space station is an excellent testbed for many of the studies that will help us travel uh, beyond Earth to an asteroid or to Mars. Lori Meggs is at Net Marshall Space Flight Center uh, with more about one such investigation. Lori. Well, regolith is a term you may have heard used a lot back in the lunar landing days to refer to the dust that really stuck to the spacesuits and the hardware. Well, to travel to farther bodies in the solar system, we need to understand how regolith acts in microgravity. And Strata 1 is an experiment that is doing just that on the space station. I spoke with Kristen John. She's the co-investigator, and I got the dirt on this pesky soil. It's an experiment to study asteroid regolith. So regolith is basically the fine uh, dust and powder that you find on the surface of any atmosphereless body. So on the moon or asteroids or comets, they're covered with this, this regolith material. So we're interested in studying this. So, that comet. Jack Schmidt having a few problems. You heard a lot about that when the astronauts came back from the moon, the regolith right. that was really stuck to their spacesuits and stuff. So this is something we're having to learn about and how to deal with, right? Exactly. Yeah. So when the Apollo astronauts came back, they reported all sorts of issues with the regolith. It would get into their joints. It would interrupt with equipment and the space, space suits, spacecraft, everything. So it's something we have to be considerate of. So why study it on the space station? Um, so basically, we want to study it in the same environment that it's exposed to on these bodies. Uh, so for now, we can only study regolith for 30 seconds at a time on the vomit comet. So by going to the station, we can actually study it for a longer period of time in the microgravity environment that, that this regolith exists. So when we say study it, what are we doing with it? Um, right, so we're actually basically just watching how it evolves over time. So we basically have four tubes that we're sending up to the space station that are filled with different regolith simulants, and we're watching each one with a camera, and we're just watching what happens over time in the microgravity environment. So it's like having asteroids on the space station, right? Exactly, yep, that's what we're going for. We're very excited, and there's, uh, surprisingly, there's a, a large number of scientists that are very interested in regoliths from a scientific point of view and also from an exploration point of view. So there's a lot of people that are excited about Strata 1 and future Strata missions as well. Is it just strictly for future exploration, or is there some other thing we can learn from this that'll benefit Earth? Yeah, so there's a lot. So there's not a lot of benefits necessarily to Earth, but there's a lot of benefits to science, to understanding this regolith from a scientific point of view, but also from an exploration point of view. So when we go to these bodies in the future, we have to know how to interact with them. Um, all, these, all these bodies that are covered with them, we, we need to anchor or attach to these surfaces because they have very low gravity. Uh, so we have to be able to interact with the regolith and understand how we'll attach to them or anchor, anchor to the bodies, uh, so, so that's an important reason to study regolith. And so then it's a whole other ballgame when you find out what it really does, right? Exactly. Yep. And for more information on this and other experiments on the station, go to nasa.gov station and look under the Research and Technology tab. That's it for us. Now back to you at Mission Control in Houston.